All right, my pump over here looked beautiful, and everything was working great. This is all covered over. I come home from work, and this was just barely spitting out any water. I removed, looked in here, and my tank underneath here, my little planter, is not holding the water. It's leaking out. So essentially, I have to take this all apart and start all over again. I'm going to... Still using a planter, I'm going to use this tub. Uh, got it rolls a lot cheaper than a planter, by the way. But basically, I'm going to sink it in the ground to here. I'm going to paint the lid so it's not so red. And then basically bring my bubble up the middle and put rocks in them. The beautiful part is once it's set up and I need to service on the inside of here where the water's at and the pump's at. I just come here, I want that to fall over, and take my lid off, and everything will come at the same time. So it'll be a lot simpler for servicing. I thought about servicing over here, but I thought I had six months before I had to go in here and service it. Uh, wrong on all accounts. So I'm going to redo this with this. I'll bring you back when we're working on it. I've got my black tote um, from the hardware store. I dug the hole as big as I needed it. I put a good layer of pea gravel on the bottom. I fill enough water just to make sure it stays level. I don't want to put any in yet into the sides until I know that it's held down as best as it can be. And I'm allowing the gravel so that when I dug up the other pot, I had some erosion where the water was spilling out. So I want to make sure I have a good layer of rocks all the way around to disperse that water. All right, check it one more time. Point for the bag, I have very little control, and I don't want to knock my sides in any, so I want to go put the gravel right where I need it. Point for the bucket. And then shovel it in. So even with doing that, I'm still knocking some dirt in. It's going to take a while. I'll bring you back when I'm getting towards the end. All right, I've got the the rock, the P-Rock put in all the way around. I'm good with that height. I need to put a hole now for the cord to go through. I should have thought about this before I put all the water in it. All right. Alright, I'm putting uh, lava rocks into here. To uh, absorb, you know, to have lots of surface area for bacteria to grow. Here's my lid after I painted it blue. I didn't like that other color. We're gonna drill a hole right through there. That can stay centered. This looks centered. Just dusting all the... Isn't that ugly red? It's probably a great red for a toolbox. Not a good red for, for a pond. Perfect, look at that. So I'll be able to access this pond a lot easier just by taking that off. And where's my red dish? A cap right here. Ready to plug it in, see what we've got. Okay, I've run a temporary extension port over. I've got water in the tub. It's a little dusty yet. Let's see what happens. There we go. And if everything works out all right, these holes I'll put on the side should drain that water off. These are my pretty rocks.
I'm concerned these holes aren't big enough. I'm going to drill my, drain my water out. So when, uh, when it rains or the sprinkler's on, it'll recharge us with fresh water, and it'll spill out over. All right. I'm going to call that good for now. All right, I'm going to spread these rocks back around. And uh, let that water clear up. Okay, it's been a week now for this bird bath. And uh, I've seen a dove stop in here and get a drink and a cardinal. I think they're just starting to get used to it. It's been running great all week. Uh, again, when I need to get underneath here to that to that top underneath here, I just unsnap the handles, lift this cap up, and I can get in there. But I, I'm predicting it's going to run just fine for a couple months. We'll see. I'll let you know. Right now, I'm uh, totally, totally enjoying watching this from the window.